Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell. And in this video, we're covering Chapter 2, Exercise 8. Um, as always, make sure you correct the few changes that I make. In every solution, I'll change like numbers, maybe some names. But it's very simple if you have the book to make those corrections. This problem only, I believe it only requires the hierarchy chart. And what we're trying to figure out here is we're going on a road trip, or we have several road trips that we're planning out, and we want to know what it's going to cost in gas. And so that's why we have a, a, a while loop here, because we we don't know how many we're going to plan. We just want to be able to plan as many as we want and then enter a value to exit the program. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the hierarchy chart here. We've got main program, housekeeping, uh, get miles driven. You know, we're using like Google Maps and we know the distance. And then inside the detail loop, we've got this check for the Sentinel value. So as long as we don't enter this right here, you know, negative one, everything that's contained inside of the loop will run. And if we do enter that, it'll, it'll end the program. But uh, inside of the loop, we've got get cost per gallon of gas, and then uh, compute the cost of the trip. And then we've got, we also want to know if gas prices go up by 20%, what the new cost of the trip is going to be. And so compute 20% raise in gas prices. And we're going to want to display both of those, you know, the original cost and the possible 20% raise in gas price cost. Then to end the loop, we're going to, or the last thing in the loop, we're going to check for get miles driven again, because we're planning another road trip. And if it's not the Sentinel value, the loop will run again. And if it is, we end the end of job and display message. So let's go ahead and look at the code here. I've got a constant declared here, and it's miles per gallon, that's how much your car gets, 30. And we've got variables here, miles driven, cost per gallon, cost of trip, and that 20% raise in gas prices, if that happens. So we want to prepare for that. Uh, next, we've got our input section, and we want to figure out how many miles are we going to drive. So we enter that value. If it's not negative one, we're going to ask the user what the cost per gallon is and then we're going to do our calculations here the cost of the trip and that's cost per gallon times and then in parentheses miles driven divided by the miles per gallon because we want this to execute first and then we want to multiply that by the cost per gallon and then we're going to figure out the 20 percent raise here so a little bit more complex um, cost per gallon plus and then in parentheses cost per gallon times 20 percent you know and all of that's in parentheses and then you multiply that by miles driven divided by miles per gallon and that's in parentheses as well uh, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna output your trip you know the cost for your trip and that's the dollar sign we set precision to two and fixed because we want two decimal places, not just two numbers, period. And uh, then we're also going to output the uh, trip if gas price, the you know, prices are raised by 20%. And then we ask again, how many miles are you driving to see if we're going to plan another trip. And if we enter negative one, we've got have a safe and excellent trip. So let's go ahead and run this program and check it out. Um, maybe we we're taking a short trip here. Um, let's use that number. So the cost of the trip is going to be $12.60. And the cost of the trip, if the prices are raised to, you know, by 20%, is 15.12. And so it's going to ask us, again, uh, maybe a longer trip here. And maybe gas prices are a little bit more expensive. 
$2.10. So the cost of that trip would be 70 and the increase, the 20% increase, it would make it 84. And let's go ahead and enter that Sentinel value, negative one, and then the program puts, uh, does the output statement and ends. So have a safe and excellent trip. So we can go ahead and see, let's, let me go ahead and demonst demonstrate that these calculations are right. Um, let's say that we're driving, you know, 30 miles because that's, you know, however many miles per gallon we get. So whatever number I enter here should be the cost of the trip as well to just make sure that our calculations are correct here. And they are. So that looks good. It looks like it's all working. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.